Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail we're going to be having another look at war. Now I do know lately I have been doing quite a few war videos but it seems like you guys are really really enjoying them so I thought why not continue with them, why not make more war videos and here I am today with you guys for an epic war video. Now today we are going to check out some 97, 98 and 99% one or two star raids and those were so so insane the closest one i believe was by me because i got a one star but a 97 percent monster and i do want to show you that but we're going to show you that second but first of all we're going to check out a lower level attack so we're going to check out the most final attack the final player in our clan which is dynamo who sadly left our clan he was our number 40 within war and uh, either he left or he got kicked i'm guessing he got kicked because i don't think too many people do want to leave the clan by themselves but we're going to check out the attack so you can see he got a 96% 2 star and I mean a 2 star is still good but a 96% 2 star something most likely went wrong there did he run out of time did he lose all of his units I don't know we're gonna check it out together so here we go you can see dropping in that giant to lure out the clan castle which is a dragon and a balloon so he is going to most likely surround the dragon with his archers going to drop in a giant maybe for the dragon to target the giant no he's not gonna do that so very interesting I'm actually going to do a times 4 speed because honestly this is not too interesting Thing, taking out a dragon that is not really the most interesting of things so it seems like he is wasting quite a few archers let me pause it right here so he had about 80 archers at the beginning that means he already wasted 45 archers on a dragon to take out the enemy clan castle which is not really what you want to do you most likely want to drop in mostly like 15 archers and you can most likely take out the dragon it is very very likely that you're going to take out the dragon with two 15 archers as long as you do drop them in the correct way i may make a video on that maybe not i'm not 100 percent sure but as you can see dropping in the rest of the giants one giant went over on the left hand side he's going to die lonely forever alone and he just did die there he goes dropping in those wall breakers which did target the wall and they did break through that the giants are now targeting the cannon dropping in that first heal spell he's not dropping any archers in behind quite yet which is very very weird i would have dropped them already what is it doing i mean that is most likely the reason why he got a 96 percent two star because he didn't drop in his archers that early so he's dropping in a few on the army camps but not too many why is he not dropping them all i do not know let's do it times two speed maybe he's going to drop in the rest of the archers i'm not sure what he's doing you guys why aren't you dropping your rest of your archers i, I don't know i just don't know dropping that heal spot on the dragon not going to help out too much because the air defense was targeting the dragon another heal spell double heal spell you guys on the balloons not sure if this guy thinks the second heal spell is going to do more healing on the units that is not the case for you guys that are wondering but uh, yeah i'm not quite sure this wasn't really the greatest of attack so i guess it does deserve a 96 percent two star maybe it doesn't deserve the 96 percent but it's, it, it does deserve to be a two star i don't think it deserves to be a three star but you can see a lot of balloons still alive three balloons and a ton of giants almost every single giant is alive they are now going to target the normal buildings because there are no more defenses within the battlefield so now we're going to do a times four speed and we're going to go down to 10 seconds and there we are we are now down to 10 seconds and the, i think think he's going to run out of time isn't he so that elixir storage right here is most likely going to fall no it's not actually and yeah it looks like it's going to be a 96 percent two so very 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 close attack right here but it did end up in a 96 percent two so which was a very close battle but he did run out of time so keep that in mind you guys so now i'm going to go back to the war map and i'm going to show you my attack because i did tell you my attack was going to be the second attack so as you can see i got a one star 97 percent and a three star 100 percent which I actually did just a few minutes ago if I do go into the war events 10 minutes ago is when I attacked the base I was thinking about doing a lot of attack but then I decided that we actually do need these stars because we want to get another perfect war so I decided to not do it live because sometimes when I do attack live I fail because of the live commentary so I'm sorry for that we may check out the attack but this is mostly focused this episode is mostly focused on the 95, 96, 97% and yeah we're going to check on my first attack so we're going to go here and go on to replay number one because
as bad as the attack that was 97% one star. You can see Town Hall 11 base and I am attacking this guy with a Lava Lunin attack strategy. My favorite strategy right now within the game. Hopefully when the update drops we are going to see a, a wider variety of attack strategies because honestly Lava Lunin is the most overused attack strategy right now within the game. I believe A is very very strong right now and Supercell hasn't really done anything but anyways that is beside the point. You can see I have dropped my Barbarian King in and the Arch Queen Barbarian King with the point spell to distract the balloons and the dragon and the Arch Queen is going to do work in behind. You can see, let me just pause it right here, the Arch Queen did take out the dragon, the balloons and she is just going to do absolute work. I think she's going to stay alive until the very end of the replay but now I'm going in with my Lava Luna strategy. I am dropping in one Lava Hound over on the right hand side and one over on the left hand side. You can see because I want them to go over on this edge defense and this one. Now sadly the Inferno right here is going to target in my Lava Hound which is not going to help out at all. It's actually going to make the things much harder but I am going to get very very close to getting that 3 star. You can see Inferno Tower already took down that Lava Hound almost and there goes my Lava Hound you guys but you can see a ton of balloons going to start dropping that raid spell. Those raid spells there goes one of them and I think I may drop the clone spell right now and yes I am clone spell. Did we fail with that? Yes we actually failed with the clone spell because we only clone Lava Pop so that may have made the difference right there you guys. I didn't even notice that may have done the difference. If, if I would have cloned the balloons I think the balloons would have been able to take out the rest of the defenses and we would have gotten the 3 star but check it out we still do have a load of balloons alive so it still does look a, a promising I mean the Arch Queen is still alive but it still does look promising because we've got so many balloons alive. The Expos and the Teslas are to get targeting my balloons Arch Queen now going to come in and target our balloons as well but there are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 defenses left within the battlefield. Mortar doesn't really count because the mortar doesn't do too much damage it is a splash damage unit anyways so it won't do too much damage. As you can see my Arch Queen is still alive. She's going to take out this Arch Queen plate. Now the Archer Tower Queen on very low health but we still have that Queen ability. We're going to have to use it on this Elixir storage because it does have a ton of hit points. I may no I couldn't have kept it for longer. I don't think so you guys but my Arch Queen sadly is not going to have enough hit points to take out this Expert you guys. So look how close this actually was. Expert on very 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 low health you guys on the half health. I think that's like one fourth of its health and our poor Barbarian King is not going to be able to do the job you guys and so I am going to end the battle at 97% 1 star sadly sadly I did have to not get the 3 star I don't know why Supercell doesn't want me to get the 3 star but there goes my Barbarian King bam he is now dead and that's going to be the 97% 1 star raid I wanted to show you this was a very very close raid and I was so pissed off when I actually ended at 97% it just annoyed me so much I mean imagine attacking the ball and getting your first attack 97% 1 star that is just so annoying we're going to return to map though and we're going to check out one or two more attacks so let's go into my team and find another 97 or 98 percent one or two star because i do know there are many of those attacks in this clan battle so there we go one of them 93 percent but that is not too close so we're going to check out lydia's attack 98 percent two star not a one star but 98 percent so we're going to check out our replay number two this is against a town hall nine base so this is also good because we're seeing a variety of town hall attacks we already saw the town hall eight attack at the beginning then we saw the Town Hall 10 attack by me attacking at Town Hall 11 and now we're seeing a Town Hall 9 on Town Hall 9 action so that's pretty awesome nice variety right here gives you guys which are a variety of Town Hall levels I mean so many of you guys are different Town Hall levels some of you guys may be Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9 I don't know if many of you are Town Hall 10 and 11 I'm guessing not too many but I know you guys do enjoy the Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 gameplay so that is too good to keep in mind if you guys do want to check out my channel and subscribe that is obviously appreciated but as you can see Lydia is dropping in her Barbarian King and the Arch Queen I think I even saw this attack live not sure though but there we go she is going to also do what I do basically dropping in that Barb King and distracting the Dragon and the enemy Arch Queen with the Barbarian King to let the Queen then do the work in behind now is that going to work out 100% correctly is the Arch Queen going to be able to take down that Dragon I do believe so she still does have her ability doesn't have to use it quite yet though and she already took out one of the air defenses which is pretty damn awesome now the bad thing is she only has a raid spot and two haste spells left and she won't really be able to do too much damage so as you can see the one lava hound already died wow okay that was really really fast now i'm curious to see where she's going to drop that raid spot and it seems like the attack isn't going that well to be honest look at this she only has a few balloons not too many i think she started off the attack with like 26 balloons now it seems like she's doing 
sort of like a more strategic attack right here because I'll just spam in all of my balloons but Lydia right here putting in her balloons in a nice place actually so this attack is looking very promising right now at the beginning not gonna lie I thought this was a bad attack a terrible attack but it looks like she might overkill this space but she's still got a 97 or 98 percent two stars so we're gonna have to wait and see what's going to go on there one minute left in the attack so so many balloons left in the battlefield Lava Hound did die that is good because they did pop and that is going to give Lydia the chance to get many lava pops in the battlefield and hopefully they can help out by doing a ton of damage so as you can see the battlefield does not have any more defenses in it so we're gonna do a times four speed and see where the problem is is Lydia going to run out of time I do not know I didn't see the beginning of the attack or is uh, her unit or other units just going to die out so I'm not 100% sure I guess she's going to run out of time let's check it out you guys times one speed and yes she is also going to run out of time so it seems like we always always run out of time except me I failed with my attack I guess I didn't run out of time my arch queen sadly did die before being able to take out that expert but yeah 98% too so you guys that is pretty uh, I guess that uh, it's cool on the one side because it's a 98% but then on the other side it is kind of annoying because it is like a wasted attack because if it's not a three star it's not going to help us out at all because we do want the three stars we want the perfect wars and so yes that's what we are aiming for but that said let's return back to the battlefield let's return back to the warm up and now to our base and with that said I think I'm going to end the video so you guys if you did enjoy this video then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up also let me know down below in the comment section if you would like to see more war videos I will make a 300 or 200 200 Wars 1 video when we get to 200 which is going to be very soon you guys so stay tuned to the channel for that also if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and with all that being said you guys my name is of course Sasha and I'll see you next time peace out